there, I'm Gary Foster and welcome back to What Price Victory. Today's episode will feature two games from the Asian Champions League and uh, today we're coming up, I'll just go into our schedules, very, very tight games here, we've got United City coming up first, they're from the Philippines, then after that we'll play the Western United game offline and then we've got Shanghai Port from the Chinese Super League so we'll um, we'll have those two games featured today Asian Champions League is along the same lines of the European Champions League although with um, these uh, play uh, these tables being drawn it's only the first team that qualifies but three of the next best placed teams in the in the group will then make it a, a round of 16 so yeah certainly got some uh, some work ahead of us because uh, most of these Asian ch champions they don't have the age and wage restrictions on their um, on their squads that the A-League does but not to worry it is what it is so we're we're away to United City, I think put Moru onto an automatic. Um, yes, yeah, so this is our squad. Just having a look at the fitness issues there with. I might put Arger in. Yeah, so we'll do uh, do this as our uh, our squad against United City. We've got Acton in goal, Terore, Ansel, Speranovic, and Ru. Uh, in defence, Teague, Broxman, Barnett in midfield, Lawton and Rojas out wide with Gasteed in our uh, uh, striking as a pressing forward. So it's all to play for. I think it's um, 60 or 70,000 uh, dollars a um, a win so there could be um, it could be a nice little payday at it at the end of the day favorites performance let's give the fans pundits were right brother Barry he does like he does like his own press reports so we'll go with his recommendation okay so ideally we need a win because I think away wins against our other two opponents are going to be few and far between so we can uh, have a quiet opening exchange and after 10 minutes we'll do a little bit of encouragement yeah, it's Rue on the ball to Barnett and all to Rue floating cross in the far post crumbs picked up by Broxham Torore would have been a little bit further advanced than that. Roxham turns it back into the middle. Okay, Torore in a bit of space. It should be passed in front of him so he can run onto it. Rojas with the ball and near post. What was he on side? Okay. All good. Yeah, so Torore. I thought made the mistake there of uh, turning it back in, but Teague with that money ball, and Rojas, uh, he found himself in a lot of space in that penalty area. So early goal, good news, uh, good news for the victory. So. United City with the ball, bringing it out. It cut out easily by the by the victory defence. Speranovic, Gustid nods it on to Barnett. Lawton with a bit of work to do, finds his way into the penalty area. Can he get a cross in? Gustid with the header from point blank range. Okay, that was a surprising outcome because I thought. Uh, I thought Lawton's cross had actually been charged down and had been deflected out for a corner. So Lawton gets the ball here. Touch beats his man. Backs off. 
that was the deflection there because it took a wicked had a wicked spin on it there must have been a deflection and Gasteed uh, bundled the ball over the line so 2-0 up I must must be happy with with that outcome so far because they're um, we're expected to win this game because the Philippines with all due respect to them not the not the strongest league but then we've got to come up against the might of the the K League and the and the Chinese Super League so points away from home are always good so if we can bank on the the double over United and maybe a couple of home draws so that'll give us eight points so yeah yeah let's not start banking the the wins just yet okay so fitness levels are okay for this time of the game player ratings are good obviously when you're up 2-0 so being up 2-0 we've got to warn against complacency pleased with your performance keep it going played well but there's room for improvement okay keep it going keep it going ie as in scoring goals not ie as in conceding okay so we can Okay, sort of holding them at the moment, so maybe we can just give them a a little stroking here with some praise. Okay. Okay, they're all inspired. Yeah, maybe I could have waited a little bit longer because there doesn't seem to be much much movement. So now it's all going to be about looking at fitness levels and trying to monitor that. So I think uh United City's first shot in anger? Oh no, they've, they've had a couple. Okay, so Teague, he's bottoming out. I'll stick with that. Hmm. Stick with that. But yeah, okay, so with Teague. Teague bottoming out. Broxham can go back to that position. Gives me the opportunity to bring Brimmer on for Teague. And just have to watch Torore in defence because his, uh, his fitness levels are also tanking out. Sure, I can press play. I knew that. So is Rojas bottoming out? Yes, he is. So Rojas. They lose fitness quite quickly, some of them. Now Ruse doing on 0, 0.0. So Brimmer with a kick. Launched into the penalty area, Ansel with a, with a header over the bar. Okay, looks like Seong are having a big win over uh, Shanghai. So it looks like it's going to be a battle royale between us and Shanghai then for the, for the second spot. Okay, so Speranovic Rock some wide out right to Torore. Gasteed's fitness. Everyone's fitness. Gasteed with the header. Uh, could have done better. And then six yards out. Uh, one, two, right. Barrett, his fitness has now crashed out. Right, we'll just. Oh, Lawton, point blank effort. Yeah, I want to nurse Gasteed through. 
<coughs> Bring in Joshua Varga. And then we have Italiano. Okay, so it's good to see it's good to see him score. He's had a pretty poor run of form in the league. But then Rue Cross and well done. Well done. Happy with his uh Happy with Jacob's uh, effort there. Thing is, just to get through these final few minutes, maybe we just need to turn everything down. Okay, you just need to slow it down for the final five. Xiong Yan with a big victory over Shanghai, so okay. Okay, Lawton gives up possession rather easily. Ooh. Skinned. Skinned. Need to keep a clean sheet too because goal difference is also important in this um, in this particular schedule. Oh, okay, block shot, lobbed forward again, cleared by Rue. Okay, maybe just give him a little bit of praise. Okay, so there we have it. My debut in the Asian Champions League starts off with a with a three nil win, quite a dominant performance, which I I must admit I was half expecting and hoping for. But um, yeah, the only thing are fitness issues. So all in all, it's not a bad result. Yeah, happy with all those, happy with all those numbers. So I'll go into the dressing room, have to give them all a cuddle, and a good win, well done. Okay, so just have a look at confirmation of Group G. Tsiong Yam, 4-0 uh, winners over Shanghai Port. So that may open the door slightly for Melbourne victory maybe there's hope for them to beat Shanghai Port and uh, and be the uh, get one of those remaining three places but anyway that's uh, that's the competition or the video for today having a look at our schedule it looks like we'll be fielding a a weakened side against Western United because that's only in in four days time and then the following week we've got the return leg uh, sorry we've got a um, an away game to Shanghai Port so that that game I think could be crucial based on Shanghai Port's opening result so let me go offline um, I'll uh, I'll play the Western United game offline and we'll be back for Shanghai Port. We'll see you soon. Okay, so welcome back to this second uh, Asian Championships Cup game. It's Melbourne Victory are away to Shanghai Port. But uh, in the game offline, Victory were away to Western United and uh, Matthew Speranovic, he opened up his uh, goal-scoring account with a uh, with a first-half goal, but unfortunately we um, we conceded midway through the second half and end up a 1-1 draw. Uh, no injuries. Um, 
uh, so that was uh, that was good news. Uh, now that we're in the 1st of March, the transfer window has just opened and confirmation has been given that uh, Rojas will be going off to Denmark at the end of this year. So we'll be, we'll be missing his services out wide. The transfer window has just opened, so we will no doubt be doing a little bit of business in that. We'll have to rejuggle our squad a little bit because Robbie Cruz is still on a long-term injury. Um, so we'll just see uh, see what uh, happens there. But we'll do all that offline. But anyway, for our uh, Chinese adventure, we have pretty much an unchanged side from last, I think. Although I have brought in a, uh, a youth player, Yaya Dukli. Uh, to play wide on the left because um, yeah just wasn't entirely happy with the uh, uh, with the numbers that I've been getting out there from from players so Acton in goal, Torore, Ansel, Speranovic and Schotten in defence, Teague, Barnett and Broxham in the midfield, Rojas and Dukali uh, have come in as the wide players and Gastide up top so without further ado Let's go and play Shanghai Port. Okay, so <clears throat> for the sake of offending a number of people there, I won't be trying to pronounce some of the names in the opposition's um, team. I'm sure as eggs get that wrong. <clears throat> Gone into the game with a positive mentality. Um, simply because I, I do... Oh! Gestead with a great, great goal inside the first minute. What I was about to say before Rudy rudely interrupted me <laughs> was that uh, I've gone into the game with a positive mentality because based on top of uh, Shanghai's result in the, in the first game where they were pretty well outplayed, I was reasonably confident that we could get some sort of result from this game so an early goal has set us uh, well on our way getting um, I may not be so ambitious against Xiong Yam in the uh, in the second game so that's I thought Xiong Yam is still a draw in that game by the by the look of it but it, it's still early days and I'm not quite sure whether it's being played at the actual same time because I'm I'm not quite sure of time differences and, and all that sort of thing on the on the Asian continent. Okay, so Oscar on the ball. Close down, no cross comes oh unmarked Oscar yeah I think he's well-known Brazilian I think but um, unmarked unmarked in the six-yard box bit of a clash off the ball there one of the players he was in an offside position but yeah disappointing disappointing Okay, so Rojas on the ball. Shot with the long ball over to Dukley. Oh, he'll bring rain with that shot. Ah. <coughs> hmm. Bit of a specky. Bit of a specky. Okay, so Acton to start with the ball. Shotten. All the way back to Acton. Switches play to Torore. Dukali. Ah, nothing sort of ball. 
nothing in the pool. Okay. <clears throat> Call on the boys to defend now. Shin Chao. It's his cross that laid it on. It's his cross that laid it on before, so guys you gotta be a little bit more aware. A little bit more even than I would have liked. I'd like to be going into half time with at least a one a one goal advantage, but not to be. Another cross. Ooh. Bodies flying everywhere there in the box. Okay, so in a bit of a quandary here what to do at half time. I'm kind of happy, but I'm kind of not, because I would have liked to have um, had at least one goal advantage. Hmm, XG says that we've been outclassed. Need to encourage. Brother Barry's media report. No, I'll go for the other one. No reaction. And get a no reaction. I never heard a word. Okay. Okay, so fitness levels, we'll be starting to look at those shortly. Although Teague has got the daily double, his fitness is uh, oh yeah, so maybe another five minutes out of him. Mm, Barnett in a bit of trouble, loses out. Good header down. Yeah. Not a good time to lose the ball in midfield. Okay, got away with that one. And got away. And Yaya and Ryan Teague. Teague, his fitness levels are bottoming out. Okay, so the quandary is how to reorganise the midfield. I think the one is to bring Broxham back into the midfield and to the DM role and Brimmer on. And I think Kemsoba, I'll be looking at Dukeley in the next. Uh, in the next couple of minutes. Let's encourage. All right, shot with the throw. Rojas on the ball. Cross ball to Brimmer. Okay, Dukali, what can you do? Delivers a good cross into Gasteed. Hmm. This wasn't a bad floating cross from Dukali. Hasn't improved his stats any. Dukali on the far post, where are you? Ansel now bottoming out. Okay, defensively, I think it's more positive to. to well, let's say it's more positive to um, get the defence. So 
Ansel. Okay, so Markovic for Ansel. Let's whip Schotten and Markovic. And Dukali still gets a stay of execution. Be happy with the point. And just squeeze a few more minutes. Rojas. Bring Brooks on for has Just try to nurse him through uh, the last couple of minutes of this game. Okay, so happy for that clock to wind down now. Happy with that clock to wind down. No, oh, that was always going wide. Okay. One one on the leaderboard. In the end, I think I'm happy enough with that point away from home. It's certainly a difficult um, difficult game because um, we scored an early goal and they'd be obviously chasing the, the game since uh, since then. Confirmation too that oh Seong Yam only had a 1-0 win over United City. Still it's three points. Um, okay, so that return bout in Melbourne with Shanghai Port, that's going to be quite crucial. And if we can get a draw off Siong Yam. So in the end, not a not a bad result. So yeah, I think we I think we did quite well. But there's a little bit of admin uh to do. But these Asian Cup games are coming thick and fast now. So we've got a big blue derby oh gosh coming up in a couple of days time. And Wellington Phoenix and then Seong Yam. So I might I might play those two A League games offline and then come back for a Seong Yam and a MacArthur FC double episode. Um, yeah, I think that'll be the that'll be the best way. I mean, traditionally the atmosphere at a big blue derbies um Pretty impressive, but we've we've done a, those, a few of those in the in the past, and I'm I'm keen to see how the machinations of the Asian Champions League uh, works out. So that'll be the tactic. The next two games offline, and back for the um, Seong Yam uh, Asian Cup game. So thank you very much for watching. What price victory? I'm Gary Foster. We'll catch up with you soon. All the best now.